it's Kelly Marie here with another Lawn Clippings video by Lawn Fawn. Today we are introducing our new set Quinn's 123's. This is an addition to our popular set Quinn's ABC's. Uh, we had a lot of requests for this one and we thought it would be so much fun to have a fun number set to go along with this set. So I thought we'd put them together and make a really fun birthday card. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is how easily all of these numbers line up. It works just like Quinn's ABCs, which is just the same as our other ABC sets too. And so you can see the base here on this stamp, the part that sticks to the acrylic block, is a rectangle. And all of our numbers are the same size rectangle, so they line up easily, just like that. So we're going to go ahead and put our two down, and we're going to spell out the year. And we've got our two and the zero. You see how easy they're just lining right up. And the one. Now we only have one of each number in this set because there was only space for one of each one but it's really easy to add another number on. So I wanted to show you really quickly on this strip of white cardstock here. I'm going to stamp it out in some black ink so it's nice and bold. We have our 2012 and this 2012 is great for graduation cards, for New Year's cards, and most perfectly for scrapbook layouts too. So we have our 21 there. <laughs> and then we'll add it to, and I love doing birth dates with these, so happy 20th birthday, happy 30th birthday, things like that. Um, and I mean, really, it's there's so many things that you could add this for. And now we've got our 12. just like that. You can see how great that looks, really easy to do, um, and, and just some fun numbers that are a great addition to Quinn's ABCs. So we're gonna be making a birthday card, and I thought it would be kind of fun to make a background of numbers. So we're gonna go ahead and take all of the numbers from this set and just line them up in fun ways and create a cool background. So I'm just taking a big block here and just kind of lining them up and putting them around Okay, so now I have this fun background all laid out and we're gonna go ahead and stamp that out. But first I just wanted to show you in this set also are some fun punctuation. We've got the bracket in parentheses, the ampersand, and uh, you know semicolon, period, comma, and the uh, question mark, which goes perfectly with the exclamation point that's already included in Quinn's ABCs. So it's, it's definitely really fun to put them together. So I just want to create a tone on tone background. I'm having I'm on a kick with that lately, making these with Versamark ink. And I'm going to start by stamping everything so that it's going off the sides of the thing. If you want to create a, a capacity pattern paper, you know, create your own with some stamps, one of the best things to do is to stamp it so that parts of it are going off the edge. It really helps, I think, in creating that seamless pattern look. Already you can see how fun that's looking. Okay, so we have a pretty fun pattern going here. The next thing I want to do is just fill in a couple of the blank spots. Since we're going to be putting a piece of cardstock over this, I'm not too worried about the center, but I definitely want to fill in just a little bit uh, on the outside edges. So I'm just going to take a stamp and ink it up and just throw in some, some fun letters here, or numbers, excuse me. Okay, so now it looks much more finished, and that was really easy to do, uh, just to add a little bit in there and, and spruce it up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the word birthday that I spelled out with Quinn's ABCs. And I'm going to do it in some Versamark ink because I'm going to heat emboss it with a white heat embossing powder. So I'm making sure to cover up my whole stamp here. I have all laid out. I love how easy it is to line up these letters. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp out birthday and stamp out happy in the same way and then heat it up with the heat gun. The next thing we're going to do is also heat emboss in white the number two because I'm making this for someone's second birthday. In keeping with my fun tone on tone theme, I thought I would add a little bit of a pattern to my base cardstock too using Belinda's border. So I'm going to use this little scallop here 
And I love that this is longer than a standard size card so that all I have to do is stamp it once and I'm all done. So now our little Belinda's Borders frame is all done. It's very subtle but very cute. And then when we put our fun stamped number paper over it, you can see it just adds a little bit of pattern right below. Very cute. These critters are from Critters in the Burbs, these three, and this is Critters in the Forest. I thought they would be fun critters that she might recognize maybe for some books. I know that dogs are her favorite, so I knew I had to put a dog on this card. Okay, so I've colored and cut out the top of my critter heads. It's kind of sad when they're cut out like that, but, um, but I, eh, they'll be cute once they're on this. So what I'm going to do is actually run some adhesive along the back of this so then I can just easily place them on to this, this card here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start putting our critters on. Okay, that's pretty darn cute. And I've got some gorgeous May Arts ribbons from our friends over there. Okay, so I tied a red ribbon around and just did a cute little knot because I don't even want to admit how long I was trying to tie a bow and it never looked good. So I finally just did a knot and that's actually pretty cute. I'll probably glue down these ends, glue dot down these ends so that they stay, you know, they don't cover up the sentiment. So we're gonna add our two at the very end because we're gonna use some stickles with it. But I grabbed from Jessie's ABCs an end and a D for second birthday. I should have stamped this earlier, but what are you gonna do, right? So I'm gonna stamp it. I'm just kinda seeing where it would look good. And it's gonna be right there. I'm gonna ink it up with some white ink. And just like that, we have our second ND there. Well, what I love doing with these numbers and with these letters is I like paper piecing them and coloring them in with Copics, and I also love uh, using stickles with them. It makes them look really cool. So this is just a bright red color, and when you heat emboss it, it helps the stickles or any kind of glitter glue that you might use stay within the lines. So I'm gonna kind of paint it in puppy, puffy paint style here. I had, I had training in the 80s for this. Okay, so there it is all done and so cute. I love that pop of red. Just saw another spot to add. And when it dries your stickles, you can always add some more, you know, if you need to. It's kind of hard to tell. Once it dries, it kind of flattens out a little bit. And I like to, um, to add it in at the very end because it does take a lot of time to dry. Okay, so right here we have Quinn's 123s, which is a fabulous companion to Quinn's ABCs. It works so well and it's just such a great addition. You can see right here all, all these numbers stamped out in a 2012. And in the background here, we stamped this awesome number background, which is really cool. And then we made this two here. We heat embossed it and then filled it with thickles, stickles, excuse me. But you could also, you know, paper piece, color it in, heat emboss it just plain like this too. I mean, there's so much you can do with these numbers and letters. I love paper piecing, coloring stickling, anything you can think of is so fun and it's like making your own alphabet stickers, which is a blast and number stickers, of course. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.